Jenny, thank you so much for taking the time with me today. I'm excited to hear what's next for ADAR Health. Thank you so much for inviting me. It's a pleasure to be here. I think uh, like uh, we have the device here and the next phase for uh, ADAR Health is to kind of launch the device, be out there, work with our health systems and provider partners and payer partners to kind of demonstrate the value that we've been talking about all this while and to actually put the device in the hands of the patients and see and show the world how we can transform care. So let's talk about this amazing thing that you've, sure. that you've designed. So my understanding, because I've seen this before, is that this is almost like a, like a breathalyzer style device, but that it takes multiple health metrics when you breathe into it. So walk me through how it works and kind of kind of the novel elements of it. Sure, so uh, this is a mouth lab device. It's a revolutionary handheld non-invasive device that measures more than 10 vital health parameters in 60 seconds. So we have proprietary sensors that are combined in a very unique way to measure your temperature, ECG, heart rate, pulse rate, oxygen saturation, lung function, blood pressure, all of that in 60 seconds. Uh, this is very unique because uh, there's no device in the world that can do everything, including spirometric lung function. So the value of such a device for patients with congestive heart failure, COPD, is immense. So you're a nurse. Uh, right. Talk to us about kind of how many different devices would be required to, right. to take these kinds of metrics, how laborious that would be. Right, so the current standard of care for a patient with CHF, if you will, is using a weighing scale. For a patient with COPD, is getting a pulse ox. Very few patients actually get a, a P-flow meter to measure their FEV1 and PEF. So it's between a patient using a range of devices, minimum of three devices per patient, or using one compact device that can measure 10 plus vital signs in 60 seconds. So talk to me about what happens to the data, because I'm really fascinated with how you have chosen to sort of present these numbers to the patient and the provider. Right, so we have a provider dashboard and we have a patient app. The provider dashboard offers providers the capability to see all the data coming out of the mouth lab device. So they see all the parameters in real time. The patient app gives them the numerics of all the parameters and also provides a simple graphical indicator that moves from fair to good and indicating or demonstrating where the patient is today compared to the, the baseline. So that's a simplified form and we offer data in a very digestible format. Because data is great, but the way you present and you don't, if you don't make it as simple as possible for the user to understand the data, it's worthless. This is one of the most novel and exciting devices really you know, in health innovation right now. And so I'm curious how the market has responded. Sometimes it's tough to break in right. when you're creating something totally new, right. which you have. You've invented right. something totally new. So how has the market responded and kind of where are you at in terms of market rollout? Right. So we have had a very encouraging response from health systems and pharma partners. We have actually had incoming requests to kind of use our data and technology and the enterprise platform like I mentioned. We have a provider dashboard, we have a patient app. Health systems and pharma companies are actually excited to use this solution in their efforts. Uh, talking about health systems, they want to use it with their chronic care patients for chronic care management. Talking about pharma, they want to use this technology and build a digital companion tool mm -hmm. with their assets that are already out there in the market to create real world evidence for label extensions and things like that. So the response has been amazing and we are, we have few contracts in place now for a rollout of our enterprise platform with patients, with health systems as well as pharma partners. So it's with, with a device like this, it looks awesome, it sounds amazing, it's really helpful to kind of get down to real patient impact right. and system impact. Right. So when you think about you know, extending lives, giving people more, um, you know, more healthy years, and when you think about you know, health system savings, what are some of those numbers that really show you that you're gonna make progress with this? So we don't have specific numbers yet, but what we are hoping to achieve through the use of ADAR's enterprise platform is to empower patients, to bring patient-centered care, to improve medication adherence, to reduce patient dropout, patient retention, to improve patient retention, because most of the partners that we are talking to talk about patient non-compliance. Medication adherence, everyone talks about medication adherence, but no one talks about 
optimization of medication, mm. inadequate medication dosages, sub-therapeutic -ther dos dosing of medications. How does this help with that? So this gives you real-time insights. So mm. physicians have real-time understanding. If the assessment is structured pre and post medications, physicians can actually get real-time understanding of how a medication or a dosage impacts patients. Okay and a longitudinal analysis with one assessment every day gives physicians or the providers or the pharma experts unvaluable insights into how the drug impacts patients' health. So it's basically closing the gap between efficiency and efficacy. Got it. Efficiency is what you see in the real world. Efficacy is what you see in drug trials. So we are trying to close the gap between efficiency and efficacy by providing stakeholders real-time information mm. about how a drug impacts patients. Yeah. You know, I can see you know, ramifications at really the macro level with clinical trials and health systems, but you're a nurse and obviously you know, this comes down to impacting individual right. patients who are really struggling. Right. Is there a, a patient, is there a, a sort of a use case that comes to mind for you that really inspires you every day? So, uh, so I've had a nursing background. I've dealt with chronic patients. I have worked in the intensive cardiac care unit, dealt with patients with congestive heart failure, COPD, asthma, neurodegenerative diseases. When I look at a technology like this, I see diverse applications, not just in the hospital setting, but also in the home setting. In the, I'll, I'll just talk about the patient at the granular level and the use of this device at home is if our patients were to use this every day we as a provider would be able to see the subtlest deviations in their health from their baseline mm. identify symptoms of early decompensation and then change their trajectory of health improve clinical outcomes reduce potential hospitalizations reduce 30-day readmissions yeah. and that's the value i see as a healthcare provider even as a caregiver yeah. like if my family ever needed this like this is the solution that I would trust yeah. to kind of monitor their health. And, and I'm interested in that fact that that trend line that the correct. provider can see right. is also being fed back to the patient, correct? Exactly. So yeah. it, it can spark behavior change. Exactly, exactly. And that's the ultimate goal because technology is awesome, but what's the real pain point is patients being hesitant to make that change. Mm. There's a certain inertia that they live within and they're very hesitant to make that change till they get the insight or till they have that that eureka moment that awakens them from that inertia and we hope to create that kind of insight and that kind of data sharing with them that will awaken them to take charge of their health empower them to modify behavior change and develop sustainable healthy habits nice now I know this was a big year for you. You had the FDA clearance, correct? Yes. About six months ago? Uh, almost a year almost ago. Almost a year ago, yeah. that's right. And uh, what are you most excited about for what's next? So we are most excited about getting the solution in the hands of the patients. Getting it out there. Working with our health systems and, and pharma partners, actually deriving solutions and the numbers that you were talking about earlier. All that data. The cost savings, yeah. Helping patients retain, uh, retain patients in programs reduce 30-day readmissions, reduce hospitalizations, improve the quality of life. Those are the metrics that we are itching to see yeah. from all these yeah. studies. You've done yeah. all this prep work, Absolutely. you've gotten this th today, Absolutely. you've got the device there and you're ready to just hit the ground running. Absolutely, Jenny, that's where we are. Thank you so much for taking the time with me today. It has been exciting to watch ADAR Health grow and I can't wait to see what you do next. Absolutely, thank you for giving me the opportunity to come and present the technology, talk about myself, talk about ADAR and it's a pleasure being with you. All right, thank, thank you.